Welcome back. Last night, I played a bullet game on Lee Chess that the game review said I played perfectly, and I'm just here to check that out. I normally don't analyze at least very deeply my bullet games unless there's something very interesting about them. This one says I had an average set upon loss of 12. I don't know if you can see that if I scroll up there. Played with 99% accuracy, no blunders, no mistakes, and so on, which is pretty amazing considering that this game went for 64 moves. I do understand a high accuracy if the game was short. Like if my opponent blundered on move two and I took advantage of it or something like that. But this was a long game and I'm surprised I, it says I played it with that much accuracy. Let's just find out what happened. I'm going to turn on the engine here. We did play the Philidor defense, which I've seen about three or four times in the last few days. It got me to wondering if there might be a YouTube video, some chess YouTuber out there somewhere that's recommending the Philidor defense or something. But in this case, it turned out that it wasn't that because the opponent just started throwing pawns forward. Uh, now my last move, I was supposed to play d4, so it wasn't perfect here. But because of my opponent's blunder, it turns out that this is just fine. I didn't know I could play d4 immediately. I thought I needed this pawn here. Uh, I don't know what that search bar popped up for. That's pretty distracting. It says there's a bunch of S's in the search bar. That doesn't make any sense because I don't think I typed any S's. But that's what it said happened. So anyway, back to the game. I played c3 anticipating that I would play d4 in my next move, and my opponent didn't do anything about it. And d4 is definitely my best move here, so that's what I played, attempting to crack open the center. It says it's not their best move to take here. Best move is actually to play knight to c6. I don't know if it is or not. I think if they played knight to c6, I would just push my pawn forward, but but I don't know. It says I wouldn't, but but the other idea here is that I'm getting pretty close to being able to castle. But instead, my opponent played h6, so it turned out they weren't playing the Philidor defense. They were just pushing pawns forward. As you might be able to see here, they have two minutes left on their clock. Now, I don't have much less, but they've, they're playing a lot faster than me. I'm actually trying to think about this position, and they're not. They're just pushing pawns, and the evaluation already has me over plus one. I figured I should take that pawn, which I did, and of course, if they take back, then I get their queen. They're not supposed to take back, but they did, so I took their queen, and now I'm up almost plus two. Another problem with that is not only did they lose the right to castle, but they've left this pawn hanging, which my knight's been pointing at ever since move two. Uh, am I supposed to take it? Yes. And in fact, that is the top move here. So I did take it. Well, now I'm pointing at this pawn. So I think, yeah, they're supposed to protect that pawn this way. Either put the king back so it can protect the f7 pawn or put the bishop on e6 or bring the king forward. All about protecting the f7 pawn. They didn't protect the f7 pawn. They moved it. But it wasn't the pawn that was in trouble, it was that square. And I'm definitely supposed to go there, although it says knight to g6 would work just as well because the outcome is going to be that I'm going to get the rook. I guess if I went to g6, they could move the rook and then I get the bishop for free? It says they wouldn't. It says they would give up the rook either way. Uh, but I went for the check, which definitely wins me the rook, so I get the rook. And I'm up plus 6, nope, plus 9 after 9 moves. So my opponent has had 2 inaccuracies and a blunder in their first seven moves. So after nine moves, I'm up plus nine. Now at that point, it becomes a lot harder to make a blunder, at least according to the engine. If you just make moves that don't hang major pieces or checkmate, it doesn't count them as wrong. So I think that lent itself to my very high accuracy here. But it looks like my opponent just played very quickly in the opening, hoping that I guess that it would throw me off or something and, it, and I played well against it. So I'm happy with that. Um, if you're curious, the rest of the game was me just uh, trading off pieces and trying to be careful here. I gave up a little bit of material there, so I'm only up four points of material now, but I am still leading by plus eight after 19 moves. And I didn't think that I was playing perfectly, but I was just trying to be careful. Again, as long as you don't hang mate or hang a piece, you'll be okay. I came in hoping to trade off for that bishop, so... I decided to check and win the rook. Once they moved the king, then it was the rook was was hanging, basically. And instead of trading for the bishop, this way I'm going to get the rook or a knight, and I'm up plus 10 after 30 moves. Did I clean up as quickly as I could? Rook to c4 was my best move here. I did not play that. I played rook to c1, which brought the eval down a little bit, but not much. There's several moves that maintain the plus 9 here, and Stockfish is settling on the one that I played. No, it's not sure, but the one that I played was second best. Rook to c7 is now my best move. Oh, okay. Or b4. I, I'm not sure what b4 would do. I know I can't take the pawn yet because their bishop is still guarding it. I was being careful about that. I almost did it a couple of times, but I wasn't sure exactly what to play here, so I brought my king 
And the eval thinks that lost me a little bit, but it's climbing back up. That was a little bit of a problem because of this. But yeah, that, that should have been counted as a mistake. I think it wasn't counted as a mistake because I was already so far ahead here. But yeah, that should have been counted as at least inaccurate, moving my king into the line of fire. And I give my opponent credit for catching that, as well as for playing on when I, they were down so far at certain points. Now, I think the reason that I'm winning the rook versus the knight after we trade off for the bishop in this rook here is that I'm going to have two passed pawns because there's nothing that's going to stop me from taking that a pawn after their bishop is gone. And these three pawns can't get past my four pawns over here. That, I think that is what leads to the high evaluation. So I just kept bringing my king. Of course, they took my rook and I took back. And there you see that their A pawn is toast and I have two passed pawns over here. It was correct to take that. Yeah, now I have two connected passed pawns, not to mention a four to three pawn majority on the king side. They're supposed to bring their knight here, but they brought their king, which I actually thought was a good move at the time. And I did not play my best move here for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Stockfish says my best move is king to e2 or king to d2. I guess, okay, because because my rook continues to protect this pawn. Okay, that makes sense. So I can just keep bringing my king. But instead I checked, which gives up the pawn. But Stockfish is determined after thinking about it for a minute that I'm still up about plus nine here, even if they take it. But they didn't take it. They moved back, which now puts us over plus ten again. And I did bring my king they finally started bringing their knight here, and b4 would have been my best move at this point. That makes a lot of sense. It's, it's time to start getting these pawns down there. I'm not sure why I checked. I guess it was because I was uh, just moving quickly, as, you, as one does in bullet games, and it didn't count that as bad. We're still at plus 10. Not much my opponent can do. That actually is their best move to go after that pawn. And now I played b4, and then it was just a matter of getting my pawns down, which I had to get my rook out of the way in order to do that. And once I traded off for the knight, I knew it was lost. I know even if even if this king manages to go get these pawns, which it does say that c4 is the best move here, that's what I thought they were going to play. And if they did that, I was just going to go over here and eat these pawns. But instead, they went in front of those pawns, which of course is, is really bad because all three of those squares are defended by the pawns. So the king can't come in here at all. It should have definitely gone beside the pawns. But anyway, so I'm able to bring my king now as it got in front of that. I should have gone over and ate their pawns like I just said, but instead I went over here thinking I could push for that advantage. But yeah, so I did come back to my plan of eating these pawns, and then once the king got behind my A pawn, it can't catch it and I get a queen. So the rest of the game is not hard at all. Their G pawn it cannot move, so there we have mate. Okay, so as we saw, it wasn't perfect. There were places where I could have done better, but because my opponent did so poorly so early, especially the f6 blunder, I was already up plus three at this point. They should have definitely protected the pawn one of these three ways. Not the pawn, but the square. Because again, it wasn't the pawn that's the problem, it's the square. Because I can fork them with my knight and win the rook out of that deal. So yeah, f6 was the problem. One of the problems. They had previously already made, like I said, the h6 and the a6 did, didn't do them any favors. Because after four moves, I'm up over plus one here. Take apart their center. I'm a lot closer to being able to castle than they are. As it turned out, I didn't even have to because I had already done so much damage there. But okay, well, I just wanted to check. This is part of what I do as part of my chess development. When I play a game that I thought something was interesting or I run the game review and it, I'm surprised by it, either I played a lot more poorly than I thought or a lot better than I thought, I want to look into it, and when I look into it, I can do it here on the computer. That's how half of, at least half of my content is made, is me trying to get better at chess and tr trying to figure out a way to put that on video. Thank you for spending your time here. I'll see you next time.